So here we are at one of the Top Gear edit suites, and I've been asked to show you a couple of shots that, for me, capture the essence of speed. So the irony of filming cars is a car actually doesn't look that quick. It feels quick to be in it, but to film it looking quick is another thing entirely. One shot just doesn't do it justice. So it's kind of an amalgamation of loads of shots. So here's a couple of selection of shots we put together to kind of give us that impact of speed. This thing is proper. One of our tools of trade is the classic joust. It's basically a car to car, head-on scenario. It's basically like driving on a, a motorway without a barrier, kind of driving towards each other. It's nice and safe, and you get that amazing closing speed. Here's another little joust. So this one's pretty lively. Bam, slams through, and then it hits what I call the bag drop. So the camera's literally sitting here on the deck. Uh, we've got another camera facing this way as well, so it's kind of a two camera split. The camera guys back away, they run a mile, because um, that car's probably 170 through at that point. And then you get that insane, insane hit. A car going down the middle of the runway just doesn't look quick. There's nothing to drive by, there's no texture. So what we do is we have to kind of exaggerate that. All sorts of ways we kind of shake the camera about. We film it on side profiles like this with all sorts of texture. Here's another little one, side profile tracking car. That shaking, the intensity of it. Here's another one, foreground texture flying past the camera. Vector is an absolute Look at that. monster. We're doing about 80 miles an hour in the tracking car, side profile running down a perimeter road with a, with a hero car on the main runway. It's classy. Safety is a massive deal for us at Top Gear and looking after our crew, keeping our people safe is a big deal. One of the ways that we've been doing that is using drones, tracking cars, and actually just recently we've used this thing called an Agito, which is like a kind of a robot dolly. It's like a remote control car. I think there's a couple of clips for it. Okay, this is the Agito. But what that means is we can put this little dolly on the outside of a bend right here. So this is the Agito doing its magic now. So we can be on the outside and not risk a tire blowing out or something like that where the tire can spin off. It's safe, but it's also dramatic. Using our drone is a massive deal for us because it can get places that cameras can't. You know, camera guys can't suspend themselves from a balloon, you know, and get these amazing angles. But these drones are so maneuverable and so quick at repoing, they can just get into the action. So it's simple, but it just shows the car powers into frame. And it just gives us storytelling. So it shows us geography, it shows the car attacking a corner. To quote Brad Pitt in World War Z, movement is life. And that is the truth. It's all about movement for a power test. If the car's not moving, if the shot's not moving, or, you know, ideally we have the car moving and the shot moving and something else happening, a zoom, a rack focus, it's all about capturing as much movement as possible into the frame. And if we're not, then I think we're doing something wrong. One of the things I'm immensely proud of at Top Gear is that we do things for real. We capture speed for real and we get it in the bag as authentically as we can. This little scene with the hurricane with Chris Harris is exactly one of those for me. But it's here and it's like widescreen comes in. Oh my day, straight away you're grabbed. Racing drone, shaky cam, handheld on boards, revs. Through frame, POV, into up and by. Chris Harris reaction, two jousts, over the shot. <laughs> Chase car, massive drone. I mean, come on, look at that. Effect shot, oh my days. Then a catch up, it goes on. I mean, it, <laughs> it's like I've just thrown everything I've got in the box at that. It is all in there, it is all happening. And yeah, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> You know, the amazing thing is we've got incredible talent to work with. 
We've got the best racing drones in the industry. Let me check this out. FPV, in he goes, bam. We then have cameras on the front, POV we call them, point of view. So we kind of slam it on the deck, normally on the front splitter. This gives us loads of energy. We get that impact of the, of the curbs. Uh, so this low angle here is an amazing little tool for us and we use it a lot of the time. For me, one shot doesn't do justice to the speed of a car. It's actually combining multiple shots, multiple shots that you've just seen. When you put them together in the right order, for me, that captures the essence of speed.